target locked. Fire. Welcome back, watch people. Uh, I'm gonna do something a little bit different for you today. A lot of you guys have been asking me to uh, bring you something a little bit more unusual. And today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you out on a boat. Um, it's a beautiful day down here on the south coast. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you around the boat and then I'm gonna take you out on it. Um, we're gonna go out of here. We're gonna head west towards Brighton and uh, I'll take you out and show you what this wonderful rib is like. It's made by a company called Humber. It's a British company. Um, and you know what? I might actually even consider selling this rib if anyone's interested. I'll tell you why. Because I love it so much. Um, I'm actually considering buying uh, two sizes up um, with a larger engine. Now the engine on this particular boat is 200 horsepower suzuki 200 horsepower so it's done uh, 40 hours it's just going to have its first service next week um the boat if you was to buy it today if you was to order it today would cost um around about sixty-five thousand pound um and you probably have to wait about six months to get it so uh let me turn the camera around so that you can see exactly what i'm going to show you and there we go there she is so as i say it's a humber rib 6.5 meters long you've got the suicide seat at the front which is probably the best seat in the house um, on board this boat i have uh, a life raft for four people fenders at the front uh, four jockey seats two with wing backs stunning position um, i can tell you it's so much fun I had a lot of extras put on this boat. As you can see, I've got uh, the lifesavers on the both sides. Obviously, you've got all your navigation lights, etc. Um, I've had extra lights put on top there so that uh, when you want to use it at night or, or at dusk, dawn, whatever, um, you've got plenty of lighting. Um, on board, you've got uh, a superb fusion stereo system, um, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, upgraded system, four speakers that all light up and illuminate and uh, change colour. You've got your Garmin uh, fish finder, navigation, chart plotter, etc. Um, Suzuki Speedo, Fusion Stereo, uh, VHF Radio. Um, this boat is built to my own specifications. You've got your windscreen. Um, there's that wonderful Suzuki 200 horsepower engine, which is absolutely awesome. Um, but uh, don't take my word for it. In a moment, I'll be taking you out and you can see for yourself exactly how good she is. So all I've got to do now is uh, get my gear on. Um, it's quite chilly today, although it's bright. In the summer, the rib's great. All you really need is your life jacket, a pair of shorts, and away you go. Um, in the winter, because there's no cabin as such, what you do need to do is make sure that you've got the right clothing on because if you haven't got the right clothing on it it can become a bit uncomfortable so being an on swimmer as well i have to make sure that i've got all bases covered so what i actually wear is um it's a flotation suit uh, which you can technically float in without a life jacket but i wouldn't trust my life to that um, i have a very expensive 300 newton meters uh auto inflation life jacket which means if i fall in the water it just basically opens up without me doing anything um, and my life jacket is made for offshore work when you're you know you're carrying a lot of rig etc um, so it should keep you basically it should keep a very heavy man um, carrying a lot of tools afloat so it shouldn't be a problem for me Right guys, I'm uh, pretty much ready to go out now. I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing if you promise not to laugh, all right? That's part of the deal, no laughing. Um, because it's not what I would normally like to be seen wearing, but needs must. So let me show you. So I'm wearing a flotation suit. 
And along with that comes, obviously, my life jacket. Also, um, my radio, which is an absolute must. In fact, I always carry two radios just in case one fails. And that is in addition to the one that is fixed to the boat. On top of that, um, I have a light on my jacket here. And also, I carry flares as well. They are um, on my position at all time. Basically, you're covering um, all eventualities. You have to, you know, this stuff that I'm carrying, hopefully you never need it, but if you do, and you found that you did need it, you'd be in big trouble. Um, and it's far better to be caught with um, than without. Um, what else? So as I say, I have a 300 newton meter crew saver life jacket. This is an automatic jacket. It just instantly inflates the moment you hit the water. Um, if it doesn't, you've got a manual pull button there. Um, the other piece of vital equipment that everyone needs on a boat um, is a knife that's capable of cutting rope, etc. Should you get tangled up, that's all essential equipment. You know, you've got your gloves, your neck warmer, etc. Um, as I say, it's bright today, but the weather's still cold. So let's get out. My son-in-law is coming down to come out with me and uh, we get out on the water and see what it's like. So we're just heading out of the harbour. Uh, weather's good, conditions are good, winds are good. Um, the weather around these parts can be pretty bad at times. Only yesterday, um, an RNLI boat capsized um, about 10 miles east of here towards Eastbrook. So uh, you have to be very, very careful. But we've been given permission to leave the harbour. Uh, all we're doing now, we're on a five knot limit and uh, we'll make our way out of the harbour at five knots uh, and then we'll accelerate up to about uh, 10, 15 knots as we exit the harbour and then we'll probably be, uh, probably we'll be cruising up towards Brian at about 20 knots depending on the water once we get out. This boat is extremely safe. It is, you can take it out in pretty much any weather as long as you've got the experience to do so. Um, of course, you can never underestimate the sea. And uh, my son-in-law who's holding the camera, he's uh, always with me. I don't tend to go out on my own. I, I have done, but it's safer. Obviously, we've got all the safety equipment on. Probably go overboard with the safety equipment, but to be honest, you can never be overboard with safety equipment on a boat. It doesn't matter how many of you are on there. So uh, we're just heading out of the harbour now and uh, I'll switch the camera back on when we get out.
target spotted at zero degrees west. 